I'm Tom Stone with Thermal Care. Thank you for joining us today. We're going to be discussing the TSE series central chillers. They're available with water-cooled or remote air-cooled condenser designs, and they can also have single circuit or dual circuit designs for redundancy. Finally, we can include an integral pump and tank system. What this does is allows the unit to be completely packaged to be delivered and easily installed at your facility. The tanks on those integral systems are all stainless steel and the pumping configurations can provide a standard or single flow all the way up to a double flow scenario. We can even design that pump and tank skid to be able to expand to match your system's requirements in the future. That way you can simply add an additional chiller circuit. The TSE chillers are available with capacities ranging from 10 tons up to 240 tons. The advanced PLC control allows us to manage up to 12 individual circuits and what it does is it will actually ramp the compressors on or off to maximize energy efficiency as well as distribute run hours. This allows you to track with your load and maintain a tight temperature control while maximizing energy efficiency. As you can see here, the TSE chillers have a very compact design. They also utilize an open frame that allows easy access for maintenance and service. Each chiller has direct drive scroll compressors that are energy efficient and also very easy to replace. All of the units have brazed plate evaporators and their stainless steel construction is very resistant to corrosion. Brazed plate evaporators are also very compact and energy efficient. What that does is it allows us to, again, keep these units compact and tight. The single circuit design units can all fit within a 36 inch standard door frame. Each of the dual circuit units come with manifolds for the water connections. On the chilled water connections, we include isolation manual valves for easy service, and on the condenser side, we as standard include water regulating valves. Both the water-cooled and remote air-cooled chillers are designed for indoor installation. For water-cooled, we do this because the condenser is generally cooled by a cooling tower system. A cooling tower system uses evaporation to cool. You can't really put glycol in that because as you evaporate, you change that concentration and you lose that ability for your freeze protection. A remote air-cooled design is connected to a condenser that would sit outside. That's done via refrigerant piping and each of those two pieces are shipped from the factory with a nitrogen holding charge. That allows you to check that it's still pressurized, which if it's not, would indicate that there's a leak in the system, which would mean that there's potential shipping damage. The remote air-cooled designs utilize a condenser that allows us to start up the system in negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit ambient conditions. On the high side, we can go up to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. What this means is when you're locating the remote condenser outside your facility, you want to be aware of any direct sunlight or even potential areas where that hot discharge air can recirculate back in and create what's known as a microclimate. The heat in that microclimate builds up very quickly and you can elevate way above that 110 degree temperature even though the true ambient condition is much lower. The control panels on these chiller are UL labeled and they also include a PLC and HMI. The standard is a 7 inch full colored touchscreen, and we also have available larger upgrades for that display. These units also are fully ready to integrate with the Thermalcare Connects 4.0 system as well as using some industry standard protocols such as Modbus or Lawnworks. The TSE chillers are built right here in our Illinois factory. We provide a 12 month bumper to bumper warranty and generally have these units available and ready for shipment in about six weeks. Thank you for joining us today and I hope you learned something.